Hello everyone, welcome to Assign Graphics and this is a tutorial video I'm going to show you how to make a, a text logo shop for kid using this uh, mock-up background with your pixel app so don't forget to subscribe to Assign Graphics for more exciting tutorial like this Open your pixel up. The first thing you want to do is you go head up to gallery, then you change the background of your work. The background is going to be this shop pocket mock up. The link is the background. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts then over new tracks here, and you to edit. Slow, speaking fast, I can now, roast, I can gas, think I'm all pay a last But I don't know if video, that like can I see. erase all the past and the pettiness so A reflection of the emptiness, hilarious You think you're with my time, you're the lyrious, mysterious Because you're by the I don't know what to do, 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 I don't know what Color. I'm going to hate this. I'm going to show color. This color. I'm going to say it definitely works the way I was saying. No, I don't take shit. I've got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm going to learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confident. Streams and some modesty. I'm not here to see the death. That's for you to take away. Text size, you increase the text size to 1771. That should be okay for our text. So, 70 or uh, 70 is okay, right? Uh, you go to text spacing, we adjust to that five at least five. You can, it, it depends on the text you are using. So, the one I'm using that is the setting I'm using for the the text I'm about to use and the purpose of the tutorial I said earlier is for you to know how to place any text or any logo on the background so you carefully watch the skill I'm using to do this then you now you make a copy a duplicate of the text you hide one of the text then you merge them together so that it will become a single object now it's no longer a text again so since it's on that text uh, menu is just empty now you go to object menu if you want to reduce the size again, you enable that maintain ratio on the size. You this you disable it, then you, you reduce the width to adjust the width to 26, then height to 12 or 13. As I'm doing it on the screen right there, so you adjust them like that. So the next thing you'll do uh, is uh, you move you move it you move it a little bit, make some movement adjustment there. So you go to 3D now, then on the X axis, you, you take it down to, let me see, 
as you are adjusting your watch at least x axis 12 then the y axis will be 30 35 35 at least so see the way it is not like minus 35 not 35 degree minus 35 degree it should be minus 25 degree why the x axis is 12 degree so you see how it is you see how the text is now minus 35 degree that is how it's supposed to be so because of the screen orientation that is why right, okay now it's okay like this now the next thing you go to rotate on your rotate you are going to take it to minus eight or nine minus That is how you make your rotate for the test. It's minus it. You okay it. Uh, the next thing you enable 3D. And the 3D depth you take it. Uh, you reduce it to three to three or four. Then you go to depth color. The depth. It, uh, then on the depth color, you increase the dark, uh, the dark into 49. At least. Still go back there again. And depth color, you go to gradient. You use the gradient color we, we set for the main text color now. Then the darken should be around 35, 36 or so. So that is okay for that. And the next thing you want to do now is to go to the movement button. You move it. You move. You move. You move it up a little. You adjust it depending on the text you are using so the one i'm using is just bella so you see i'm using my own setting now you enable shadow this is where your 3d text now will be placed very well on the mock-up background shop for kid mock-up background the link for the background will be available in the description below the color codes i'm going to use will be available in the description below and if you don't know how to set the color gradient you can so the blur radius for this thing will fall then offset x one offset y two Blur radius should be around four to five for the shadow. Then the shadow color is dark, so that is the setting for the shadow. The next thing now you go to color filter for your text object. Now you increase the contrast 24, increase the brightness to at least 17, reduce the contrast and adjust the brightness. Then saturation make it 100. So contrast at least 20 brightness 11 that is how you set your color filter now that you can see we are done with our logo and it's looking beautiful you can now go to save click on save and you save as image and whenever you remember always to use ultra dimension to save your work now you see we've gotten our beautiful shop for kid logo mock-up so this is how it will look like if you are done with it. So thank you for watching a sign graphic for more exciting tutorial. Don't forget to like and hit the notification button and subscribe to the channel Assign Graphics on YouTube. Thank you for watching.